Anytime. Anytime you're ready. Okay. So congratulations on the film, Thank first of all. Thank you so much. Um, so my first question is, what's the most important thing to you about this film? I mean, it's, it's a fun film, it's thrilling, but what do you hope that young audiences come out of this film? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, a lot of people relate the movie to that, those movies of the 80s, like E.T., Stand By Me, The Goonies, and to the kids of that generation, that was their, their movie to grow up with, their family movie, that popcorn movie type of style, and I think nowadays, there aren't too many of those movies coming out uh, in, in, within the you know upcoming years as well as the past few years, and I think that the hope for this movie is so that it could have the same tone of those movies as well as incorporate those themes so that kids could grow up with them. So I'm curious, were you able to see what Echo looked like when you were filming, or was that something that you saw afterwards? Yeah, no. Um, on set, I mean, a lot of Echo was CGI, but a lot of times we had the model in our hands. Okay. And we had a crew called Legacy Effects who, who built a robotic, like, a, like an animatronic Echo. And so they powered him through a remote control, and so yeah. they could like change his eye color, like move his like wings and stuff like that. So like I'd be holding Echo in my hands sometimes, and then sometimes I'd just be speaking to my hands, pretending he was there. I mean, is that kind of acting difficult for you to try to imagine what he's gonna look like on the yeah, film? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Um, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but it, uh, in one of the final scenes of the movies, in of the movie, uh, I have like I have an emotional scene with Echo, and so that was CGI. So to be talking to my hand and like get very like emotional, that was kind of weird, but. I think I pulled it off well enough to put in the movie. I think you did. So I was kind of curious. You know, we hear about adult actors. They, they think about something that horrible has happened in their life to try to produce tears or emotion. I mean, what was going through your mind in that scene? Again, not to give anything away. I but. mean, during that time, uh, when we first filmed the movie, I hadn't had too much experience with I mean, big productions like that. And I, uh, Dave Green, the director, he told me to symbolize Echo as something like a little small and like something important in my life. So. I represented it with uh, my, my cat, Minky. So I represent like anything that happened to Echo, that was what happened to my cat, Minky. But I guess now it's more like with acting, uh, I, you know, you try to fabricate those, those emotions based on like, you know, not, not think of something else, but think of that mm -hmm. thing. So there's gonna be a lot of interpretation of what they think Echo looks like as far as comparing it to other animals. And what's your interpretation of well, um, Dave was telling me that the way they modeled Echo was uh, they got a uh, crew. They got like some of the uh, some some of the top designers for like uh, robots, aliens, and movie business to mm -hmm. uh, try and design Echo. So he gave them some ideas for I think it was one type of monkey and an owl and then a frog, uh, just different types. And they didn't like the way those turned out. They were too scary. And so Dave took it to one of his friends and the friend modeled it after the little baby owl and it came out looking super cool. And like, Echo's like a little cute guy, but he's got some pretty cool powers up his sleeves. He certainly does. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the film. Thank you so much. We'll see you out there in July. Yeah, awesome. All right. July 2nd.